Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new kind of monthly video for you. So over the last few years I've always kept up with doing monthly favourites videos. Um, a chance where I can talk about some of my favourite products and items from the last month and you guys do really enjoy those videos. So I'm not going to stop it exactly but I kind of want to adapt and evolve the video sort of style for the next year and the continual search for happiness that we all go through I think especially at this time of year uh, where it's the new year and we're just trying to um, sort of grasp onto that new year energy I feel like we're always searching for ways to be happier and I think the easiest way to make yourself happy is just to look at the things that you have in your life and be grateful for them so I kind of want to change my monthly favorites to more like uh, I guess um, a gratitude list so things that I'm grateful for that I've been using and loving this month or things that came into my life during the month that I'm really grateful for or experiences that I got to have that I was really grateful for so I kind of want it to be a little bit more wholesome it'll include a little bit more lifestyle but still just as much beauty it's just that when I go to pick my favorites there'll be things that I used and really loved and brought me joy but also um, I'm gonna feature a few like PR boxes that arrive during the month like each month I you know get a couple of um, products sent to me from PR either by actual companies or by PR companies themselves and I'm always so grateful to receive like PR product you guys get to see um, some of the new things that have come into my life during that month and that way you guys can also request whether some of the items that have been sent to me interest you and you'd love to see them in another video either a review or a tutorial or if it's something that's not makeup um, just somehow I can Included again in another video. So I thought that's kind of my new concept for this video um, I'm still gonna call it like the monthly edits because it kind of is it's like an edit of all the all my favorite things for the month But also things that I just think brought me joy and that I'm really grateful to have in my life So I'm still gonna start with beauty items that really brought me joy this month And I know for a lot of you that's what you're most interested in so I like to put that at the start of my video um, the first product is kind of boring but it's a brush on lash adhesive by Ardell and so yeah it's just lash glue it's nothing special but for me it like wowed me and when I, I took a risk buying this do I get this one or do I get my old one um, and I'm really pleased I picked this one up because it is phenomenal it is so different to the traditional duo glue or like the other Ardell lash grip those ones are like latex based lash glues and so when you put them on they kind of go gummy and I was really struggling particularly with the dark Ardell glue I was really struggling to get it all off at the end of the day I would find that I'd have big sort of clumps of like lash glue in my eyelashes for days after wearing lashes and especially if I wore lashes for multiple times like multiple days in a row it would, the build up was just gross and like I couldn't get it out even really really hard out like makeup removers unless I was like scrubbing at my eyes I just couldn't get them out and I don't want to be doing that so I thought I'd try something new and this one is completely different it kind of reminds me more of like a normal glue in the sense of you put it on and you can apply it straight away and it sticks it's not like those annoying glues where you have to wait for it to dry for a minute you brush it on and you can apply it and it will stick and stay there and then when it dries it kind of goes more crusty so when you peel off your lashes it doesn't hurt or anything it's still quite a weak glue but you can peel them off and then you can kind of just pick off the glue it doesn't go like gummy um, and it doesn't stick in your eyelashes. It's also absolutely crystal clear so you're not gonna have any risk of like you know it ruining um, a dark makeup look or something. I hate how the white glues that meant to dry clear sometimes don't always dry clear but this really does dry clear so I love this. This really brought me joy as you can tell because I'm like so enthusiastic over a lash glue. My next product is actually a product I'm wearing on my face right now. It is a foundation. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. The one thing about this product that doesn't bring me joy is the damn packaging. Uh, the lid has like all broken, I think because I was traveling with it and it's not very strong. You know, it's not a very good like packaging. It's quite cheap. Um, it kind of cracked. This part's cracked so I've had to like be really hoary and sellotape it. But you get the gist. I love the color of it um, because I do, I am like slightly, slightly darker in summer even though I'm still really, really pale. Um, so the color's perfect. I love how natural it looks on your skin. It actually looks like skin. And especially when you apply it with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, um, it just looks absolutely stunning. So I highly recommend this. If you are kind of in 
WNC 10 sort of shade from MAC. You'll really love this. It's definitely on the darker end of my foundations, but I I can wear it. It's not like too dark for me. And then of course I cannot do like a video about things that bring me joy without talking about the new, well it's not new, but it's new to me, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This has been out for quite some time now actually, um, but I finally got my hands on it in December. Like she was early, no, it was early this month. It was like the 3rd of January or something when the post office opened because I ordered it all the way back at the start of December and then it took ages to arrive and then I went to the post office and then it was Christmas, New Year's, all that drama. I finally got to the post office and I was able to get my parcel and I have the shades Fair and Fair Neutral. I have a whole review video on this so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But I will link that above here in a card and also in the description so you can go and watch that if you're interested to hear my detailed thoughts but obviously it was in this video I love it I adore it I'm so happy with it it is very much up there with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for me which if you've watched me for a long time you know I adore that concealer so for something to come like as close or even maybe better I don't know I'm still deciding but it's you know it's up there with my holy grail so it has really made an impression on me something else though that I also ordered with the concealer the concealer was kind of why I did the order but I needed to spend over a certain amount to get free shipping and I thought it was stupid to pay like $20 shipping from Tarte website it's really expensive and so I just bought another product and I got something that I've been wanting to get for quite some time because it's been recommended to me over and over and over as being an amazing blush pale skin and it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in exposed and this is if I can get into it this is the most beautiful mauvey nothingless blush color it's very very similar to like Too Faced Baby Love although maybe like a little more mauvey rather than peachy but the same kind of nothingless shade is beautiful I'm actually wearing Benefit Dallas today um, but this I've used this I think in a tutorial so far or if I haven't I'll definitely use it in the future it's gorgeous. Thank you so much for your recommendations. I had actually already ordered it before I got most of the ones that came on the uh, my best blushes for pale skin video, but I still appreciate you guys leaving me those because it really confirmed my purchase. And then when it arrived and I used it, I was like, mm-hmm. You guys were right. And then another cheek product actually that I've been loving. You guys know I adore my Makeup Geek highlighters. I have four of them and they all four managed to stay in my collection and post KonMari clean out. So I really, really do love them and they do bring me a lot of joy. Um, the one that brought me the most joy this month, the shade, is the shade Lit, which is a really beautiful golden sort of soft natural highlight. It's still really pigmented, but because the shade is like, it's like a gold peach duochrome, so it actually is really natural and almost is like skin colored for me. Therefore, it just creates a really nice glow. I've actually filmed this, it's a tutorial that's coming up really soon, so I didn't use that exact product. I used a new one by Illamasqua. This is the Beyond Powder in OMG, so that's actually what I'm wearing on my face today for reference but it's actually really really similar to the Makeup Geek highlighter and lit. I think if you're after something that's really quite natural but still really like you know it's obviously that you're wearing a highlight but it's just a really natural color then I would definitely check out lit. I have a pair of shoes that I've absolutely worn to death this month and I'm so 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 happy that I got them. They bring me so much joy and they are these little slides from Trenary. As you can see I've even got like footprint mark inside like I've worn them that much and I haven't even had time to like clean them with leather conditioner so they're still a little bit grubby but they are just full leather upper lining sole slides and the upper of them is this really beautiful kind of textured it kind of has like a sort of bohemian look about the pattern um, and it's just really classic and really simple and I love how comfortable they are because they're 100% leather I've been after something like this for actually years and my work just hasn't really done something as simple and classic and and sort of delicate as this we do a lot of chunky slides at my work which I love it's a cool look but sometimes I want something a bit more delicate so that's why I picked these up they were also really affordable they were on sale for like $70 which for a full leather shoe is amazing price Price. So I'm so happy I got those. I've already worn them so much I think they will be a bit of a one summer wonder where I just sort of thrash them and then get a new pair next year But if you're in the market for a plain black classic slide that's all leather then definitely check out these ones from Trainery. It was also time for me to invest in a new uh, bikini this month which I have been using my pool so so much in the last month it's been really really hot here in Melbourne like over Christmas and then into the new year we've had a lot of weather that's been up like near 40 degrees or over 100 for you guys in America 
Um, and so I got this one from Jets because it was on sale at David Jones and it's just so cool. I'm hopefully going to try and include a picture for you of it on if I'm brave enough. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's basically like, I love kind of how sporty it is. It's got like this sort of sporty elastic band um, around the back and it's really low line like if you can think about like the fact that a bikini normally comes to here and sits under your boobs you kind of get that extra length and I love that look on me I think it just makes my torso look really nice and slim um, and the clasp is actually at the front which I love too I think it's kind of sexy but I love how kind of sports luxe this one is and the quality of a Jets bikini or Jets swimwear in general is so so good they also have a really high ethical rating for um, their company as well so they like you know they know where the fabrics are coming from and they really try their best to make sure that their like swimwear is of good quality and ethically sourced and then this is what the bottoms look like so it's just like little plain briefs with uh, elastic on the sides as well my last Jets bikini is the bikini before I had just the cheap leopard print one from um, Target but the one I had before that lasted me like four years I got it on my honeymoon in the Gold Coast and I had it for like four years so I definitely know that Jets bikinis last really well which is why I'm happy to invest in them the last little fashion-y piece I want to talk about is a jumpsuit and this is from Zimmerman and this was again a little bit of a like splurgy purchase but something that I will literally have in my wardrobe for so long. This is like a really, I can't really show you obviously, it's such a, such a small screen. But um, this is what the top detailing looks like. So it's 100% silk, so it's a really beautiful fabric. I love the fact that it's black with polka dots because I'm such a polka dot person. And I also adore the lace on the top, it's kind of that sort of... Um, eyelash lace so it's got a little fringy kind of detailing so it's very beautiful it kind of reminds me of like sleepwear or lingerie or lingerie is outerwear sort of styling which I love and um, it's got these beautiful really delicate little spaghetti straps um, and you can wear it with a strapless bra like it fits really nicely and it's basically really loose and oversized and then there's like a little tie that goes around the waist so it clinches it clinches is that the right word cinches cinches the waist yeah Clinches the, I can't think, but it basically sucks your waist in so you've got some shape. Um, but it feels so comfortable to wear and it's so, so nice. I received a couple of PR packages this month as well. January is generally a pretty quiet month for PR. Um, and one of them I think was actually a delayed like Christmas PR release. The first one's from Mecca and they are so kind. They send me so much beautiful, like so many beautiful products to try. And it's the new um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Collection. So this is a collection that features like lip liner liners, lip glosses, lipsticks and liquid lipsticks that are all like really nude tones so it's not necessarily just pale nudes they also have like deeper browns so if you've got a deeper skin tone like there'll be a nude for you kind of thing so I love the fact that they've done a huge range of skin tones I got sent a couple of lip liners which are really beautiful my favorite one is the is the lip liner in borderline which is what I'm wearing today and it's like a little bit more of a sort of my my lip color but better so I can outline my lip really nicely with it and just fill it in with something really lightweight. I'm then wearing the matte liquid lipstick in Wink which is this really really pale sort of nude matte lip. I added on top the gloss called Sugar which is this one. It's a really nice light colored gloss and that just created this lip combo here if you're interested. In Australia these are being released on January 31st uh, from mecca.com.au so thank you so much Mecca for sending me those. I'm so grateful for them and they're beautiful and then I also got from NYX this giant parcel, I actually just arrived today, and it's all of their like Christmas stuff, and I was really sad because I was like, damn it, I think the postie like mucked up, and I was meant to get this way back in December, because I got a cute little Christmas card, uh, it says Merry Nixmas, it's very cute, and then I got the next advent calendar, which, you know, I can't really use it as an advent calendar now, but it is just got all the products inside so I can at least open them up and try them out. I also got the liquid suede vault so this has all of the liquid suede um, liquid lipsticks by NYX and so there's quite a few little crazy colours in there. This set though looks a little bit more like me and I'm actually going to do a lip swatch video on them like very soon. This is the soft matte lip cream vault so this has all 36 shades in their collection. Actually 34 shades are permanent because I was searching on the NYX website and Ulta website and it only ever came up 34 so I think this is the whole collection plus two extras for like special holiday so I will do a lip swatch video on that and it will probably be up in the next few weeks a lot of the videos in the next few while are pre-filmed I have to pre-film six videos no, eight videos 
no, six videos, including this weekend. So that's eight, eight videos I have to record for while I'm away in New Zealand. So it's uh, pretty hectic. Lastly, I just want to talk about a few like personal life experiences that happened to me this month. I was lucky enough to go over to New Zealand in the second week of January for a family wedding. It was a beautiful time. My cousin-in-law Amrai looked gorgeous as a bride and it was just such a lovely time to spend a lot of time with Alex's family because it was on his side um, and it was just such a beautiful location down in Lake Hawea which is next to Lake Wanaka. I just say we went to Wanaka because that's where like we stayed and my other family that lived there also stay in Wanaka so I just say we went to Wanaka but it was actually the wedding was at Lake Hawea. If you go onto my Instagram as well I'll link that somewhere on the screen um, I've got a couple of pictures of my time in Wanaka and you can kind of see the lake in the background see how beautiful it is. I'm a real advocate for my home country so if you haven't traveled to New Zealand I would absolutely recommend it it's gorgeous but definitely I think do the South Island first like Queenstown, Wanaka, um, oh, Milford Sound it's beautiful like and, and maybe in winter even is better, um, but it's gorgeous. Definitely on your like bucket list to do. But also while I was in New Zealand, I actually had the most amazing experience of seeing my new baby niece. Uh, I didn't see her like being born, but I got to see her like five hours after she was born. Um, it's my sister's final baby. <laughs> she says it's her final one. Uh, and her name's Willow and she's absolutely adorable. And a little picture of me and her here. She's only like one or two weeks old now when this video will go up. And she's absolutely beautiful. I also finally got to meet my brother's wee daughter called uh, Ella, who's also so adorable. I'll insert a wee picture here of me and her. She's so, so cute. Um, I really wish I could have been at, like, at the birth or, you know, within a few days of her birth um, back in May, but sadly, like, there was just no opportunity for me to get to New Zealand during the year, and it just was so lucky that I was in New Zealand at the time my sister had her birth. Like, it was just coincidence. So, that's how it worked out, but I got to finally meet my two nieces, and they make me so happy. It's just so cute. I love babies. This trip was just such a trip of coincidences. Like, my one of my bestest, bestest friends, Emma, who was my maid of honour at my wedding, she's been in London for the last couple of years, and she's married now as well, and she, I finally got to see her after like two and a half years of not seeing her, and I also got to meet her husband, and they just so happened to be in Christchurch at the same time I was in Christchurch, like just before I flew back to Melbourne, and I was just, oh, the luck was so good, and we had a beautiful dinner together, and I was just so grateful that it worked out, like it was just such an amazing week, I had such a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and enjoyed the new kind of concept of favourites videos, I hope it's something a little bit more... I don't know, I hope it inspires you to be a little more grateful for things in your life as well. If you did find this video helpful or you enjoyed it in any way, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me. And if you're new here, then definitely subscribe. I do make two videos a week. And if you are subscribed and you want to be notified when those videos go up, I generally have a schedule, but sometimes it changes, um, then definitely click the little notification bell down below. It'll give you an email every time I upload. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and have a good few days. Bye.